Good morning, Dr. Stewart from Timonium Foot and Ankle Center. I have a patient of mine here, Deborah. Hello. Deborah, thanks for joining us. Deborah's here to share her story. We did a really cool surgery on her. We did a fusion of her big toe joint. Come over here, I wanna show everybody. We did a fusion of her big toe joint. We did a fusion of her second toe. We did a little procedure underneath of there. And we also did a release of her cap. But here's what I wanna talk about today. We did a fusion. Whenever you hear the word fusion, people freak out. I wanna show the x-rays real quick. If you look at her joint, this was her before. She's got a lot of arthritis there. She had a lot of pain here under the second metatarsal phalangeal joint. She had some tightness in her calf, which you're not gonna see on the x-ray. And if you come over here, we took, a, we took a plate and screws and we locked everything together. We cut this bone back, shortened it up, and we fused this toe. And she did phenomenal. So we're gonna go back to what's scary about a fusion first, but what was wrong with you? How bad was your pain? My pain was so bad that it was difficult to go up and down steps. I wasn't walking anymore. I had stopped hiking. Gosh. She came into my office limping and miserable. And I told you we should not jump to surgery right away, correct? Absolutely. We, we made orthotics? We made orthotics. We kept put me in a boot for weeks at a time, several times, yes. to hope that it would relieve it. Right. But it kept coming right. back. So we really exhausted conservative care. Now, when you have arthritis like this, okay, unfortunately, there's nothing short of a fusion that's going to work. Because I always use this analogy. Hard-boiled egg, hard-boiled egg. Remember me talking about this? Yeah. If the shell of the egg is okay, it'll glide and it'll be fine. When those shells crack, you have egg on egg. You had egg on egg, bone on bone. Yeah. When you talk to patients about the word fusion, I would say 99% of the time their head goes, fusion, what? Uh, I'm not gonna be able to move. What, 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 how am I gonna? Yes. So did you feel that way? I was afraid that I would be walking differently and I'd have to alter all sorts of other things. And so now that now, just so you know, we tell patients when they have a fusion, this joint is not gonna move. However, the majority of patients who have this condition, this joint is not moving well to begin with, hence why you have the pain. You're also throwing weight to this next joint, hence why you had the pain. Right. You're also tightening your calf, which puts more pressure on your foot, hence why you had the pain. Right. We fused your joint, and you can still move your toe, you can't move here. With that being said, how does it feel? Feels great. I mean, I was really surprised, I have to be honest. I feel great, I'm walking again, I'm starting to hike. We've, we've gone away where we've walked for hours at a time around a town. I'm, it feels great. And she was walking within two to three weeks of surgery, yes. and had it not been for the toe that I had to put a pin in, she probably would have been in a shoe in about four weeks. We just had another guy the other day who we did a fusion without a toe procedure, and in four weeks he was back in a shoe. Wow. So, I believe it. fusions, would you promote them if it's the right candidate? Yes, if it's the right candidate, once you've done everything else, which you recommend, I mean, you did not jump into surgery. No, we do not jump into surgery. So, for those of you who have arthritis in your big toe joint, do all the conservative care. Conservative yes. care can work, and it worked to a degree. But if it gets to the point where you're miserable, and that's really what I promote in my practice, you have to be miserable, unless it's a medical emergency like an infection or a fracture or something that's just causing severe disability, never jump into surgery. But when surgery needs to be done, don't be afraid of fusions. They work well when they're done in the right patient. Deb, thank you for sharing your story. Appreciate it. I'm glad you're back to activity. Thank it's you. It's great working with you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, perfect.